In 2014, my mate Mac from Perth Demolition promised me two old frangipani trees from a house that he was demolishing. Now, they'd been planted right up against the house and they had to be removed prior to the house getting knocked down. There's no way I would let these valuable trees go to landfill. These two trees were going into my garden and they've been successfully transplanted and they're now growing really well in the new home. We planted them out in a protected place from strong winds, planted into a top quality potting mix to get quick root growth and settled them in with sea salt to reduce the transplant shock and stimulate rapid regrowth of roots. So fast forward to today and I have another frangipani that needs a new home. This is a 75 year old tree that lived in someone's garden in a Perth suburb. And when you have a magnificent mature tree, why destroy it when the house is demolished? So we took it home and planted it up into a thousand litre planter bag, soaked it with sea salt and allowed it to recover and start growing away. And I've been wanting to find it a new home, somewhere where it'll be appreciated for its beauty for decades to come. It's incredible to think that 75 years after it had been planted in its old garden, it's come here, spent a couple of years getting a brand new root system down there, and it's heading off to its brand new home. Now, the trick with this is to make sure that we don't damage any of these structural branches. So we've got these bags of potting mix acting like a cushion. We're going to strap it down, and fingers crossed it doesn't move on the journey down the hill to its final resting place. So with that, it's off to the inner city suburb of Highgate to the brand new beer garden at the Beaufort Local, a restaurant on the edge of the city of Perth. And this small little hire truck just managed to lift the tree, which weighs about one ton, onto its back. And that's where this big boy comes in, a 55 ton crane, to lift this stunning tree carefully, 20 metres above the buildings, and lower it gently into its new home. Slow and steady is the key, negotiating the existing roofing in order to avoid damage on the tree, and the roof is critical. The tree has undergone as little shock as possible in going into its new home, but the reality is we've had to chop back some roots, remove some soil from around them, and the last thing we want to see is the tree set back in its new home. So to avoid this, we've soaked the root ball with sea soil, added some of the planting gel into the base of the planter box it's going to live in, and it's been planted in only the finest quality potting mix to ensure that it grows away strongly, and Bailey's premium potting mix is the one that we've used. Well, how cool is this, Daz? We've done a great job. It's great mate, big frangie. Amazing, mate. And it's shudder to think how close this came to just getting bulldozed. And that's the great thing about this. We've really recycled something that would have got flattened in a demolition job. A beautiful 75-year-old tree. And now it's going to be the centrepiece to this beer garden. Once these trees get going, they are fantastic. I reckon we should come back and enjoy the flowers and the foliage that'll all be springing out. And the perfume. Of course. Yeah. Here we are. Four months later, look at the regrowth and even the flower production on it. It's amazing. All that shock, and now it's so good. Do you want to know what the secret was? To sustain this amount of foliage and flower, we need to be stimulating the roots all the time, and that's where sea soil really comes into play. So I'm going to make sure that it gets a regular application of that. And now that it's actually quite mature, you need to feed a tree like this. There's not a huge amount of root system, so you have to support it. And this is where this rejuvenator Triforte M really comes into play. The combination of microbes and complex minerals in the soil area of just two cubic metres will help maintain good health and sustain its recovery as the tree grows and as canopy expands over this stunning area. Now, probably one of the most important things that you can do is make sure you water this tree. It's going to need three waterings a week, 100 litres each time, so that's 10 of these. And what it will do is it'll sustain this tree as it really starts to grow. You've got to look at this and think, well, if we hadn't have come and saved it, it probably would have been demolished with the house. So the chance to come and see this for yourself, if you're in Perth, come and check it out. It's at the Beaufort Local. It's a beautiful tree.